Many people in my videos lately have been asking me what parser I'm using in the corner of my screen. So, due to popular demand, here it is, my parser. I'm using the program known as Advanced Combat Tracker, which was originally made for EverQuest 2, along with Rainbow Mage's Overlay plugin. Right, let's show you guys how to get this working, and of course the links for all the downloads will be in the description box down below. Okay, so the first thing you want to go and Google is Advanced Combat Tracker. You want to go to Downloads, Advanced Combat Tracker Setup, download this, and then download the Final Fantasy XIV plugin. Make sure that you do install ACT as well. Next, you want to go and download the Rainbow Mage Overlay plugin. Of course, a link for this will be in the description box down below and as you can see there's a couple of different versions an x64 and an x86 now an x64 is for 64-bit operating systems whereas an x86 is for 32-bit operating systems you can check which operating system version you have by going to start computer properties and over here you should be able to see exactly what you have so for me, I have a 64-bit, so I'm going to go and download the 64-bit overlay plugin. The last thing you need to go and download is Microsoft Net Framework 4.5. Go to download this as well. Doop, doop, doop. Download. No, I don't want Internet Explorer 11 because you're a piece of crap. Doop, doop, doop. Click here to download, download, and make sure you do install this, otherwise the overlay plugin, Rainbow Mage overlay plugin, will not work. So after you've installed ACT, you don't want to go to the directory where you installed it. For me, it's in my programs file folder in one of my other drives. And then you want to go to the plugins folder, and you want to make sure that you put the Final Fantasy XIV plugin in the plugins folder. Next, after you've extracted the Rainbow Mage, folder you want to make sure you put this entire folder into the plugins as well so we have all of this and then for every single .dll file that's here so for overlay plugin plugin core exilium uh, libsef you want to right click on all of them go to properties and over here in the little corner there should be a little button that says unblock make sure you unblock every single one of these .dll files otherwise the rainbow mage overlay will not work the last thing you need to do is then go to resources and then you need to download my resources folder which will be in the description box in a link and you want to copy paste the entire folder into this resources folder. Reason for that is because my copy has an icons folder which contains all of these job icons and stuff and on top of that the mini pass is the settings for the overlay and my settings are completely different from the defaults that you download so it looks it makes it look kind of nicer gives it a nice dark background on top of that it also enables the icons which the original doesn't have after you've then done that you want to go back right click on advanced combat tracker and you want to run it as administrator every single time you do run this parser you want to make sure you do run it as admin Otherwise, network parsing will not work. So yes, load it up. You may or may not get a pop-up. If you do get a pop-up, just cancel it. Then what you want to do is go to Browse in the Plugins tab. Go to your Plugins folder. Final Fantasy XIV plugin. Load this up. Add enable plugin and you want to do the same for your rainbow mage overlay so go to the rainbow mage folder overlay plugin open enable plugin and as you can see it's up here so now you want to go to the plugins you want to go to overlay plugin make sure you check this box it'll automatically hide it when ACT isn't around which is really nice and neat you then want to go to the mini pass tab Make sure you have show overlay on, otherwise the overlay won't even work. You then want to go to Final Fantasy XIV settings. And make sure that this tab 
is checked combined pets with owner now pass the filter is just so you can even change it so it passes your entire alliance your party yourself or no filter whatsoever you want to make sure the final fantasy 14 process id is automatic change this to short delay make sure your local ip address is on default it doesn't really matter whatever settings you put it up to as long as it's default or your router settings next you want to go to options general and over here you should have a little number on i believe the default is 10 change it to at least 20. i set mine to 30 as there's mechanics in Ravana which do extend beyond 20 seconds and i want to make sure that i'm passing the entire encounter as a whole so there's that then that's pretty much act set up if you have any other questions about the setup of ACT, please do post it in the comment section down below and I will assist you. So guys, thank you for watching and as always, take care and I'll see you guys next time. Download, download and make sure you do install this otherwise the overlay plugin, Rainbow Mage overlay plugin will not work. So after you've installed ACT, you don't want to go to the directory where you installed it. For me, it's in my programs file folder in one of my other drives. And then you want to go to the plugins folder and you want to make sure that you put the Fun Fantasy 14 plugin in the plugins folder. Next, after you've extracted the Rainbow Mage folder, you want to make sure you put this entire folder into the plugins as well. So we have all of this. And then for every single .dll file that's here, so for overlay plugin, plugin core, Exilium, uh, Libsef, you want to right click on all of them, go to properties, and over here in the little corner, there should be a little button that says unblock. Make sure you unblock every single one of these .dll files, otherwise the Rainbow Mage overlay will not work. So yes, load it up. You may or may not get a pop-up, if you do get a pop-up, just cancel it. Then what you want to do is go to browse in the plugins tab go to your plugins folder Final Fantasy 14 plugin load this up add enable plugin and you want to do the same for your rainbow mage overlay so go to the rainbow mage folder overlay plugin open enable plugin and as you can see it's up here so now you want to go to the plugins you want to go to overlay plugin make sure you check this box It'll automatically hide it when ACT isn't around, which is really nice and neat. Then want to go to the mini pass tab. Make sure you have show overlay on, otherwise the overlay won't even work. Then want to go to Final Fantasy 14. Many people in my videos lately have been asking me what parser I'm using in the corner of my screen. So due to popular demand, here it is, my parser. I'm using a program known as Advanced Combat Tracker, which was originally made for EverQuest 2, along with Rainbow Mage's Overlay plugin. Right, let's show you guys how to get this working, and of course the links for all the downloads will be in the description box down below. Okay, so the first thing you want to go and Google is Advanced Combat Tracker, you want to go to Downloads. Advanced Combat Tracker Setup, download this, and then download the Final Fantasy XIV plugin. Make sure that you do install ACT as well. Next, you want to go and download the Rainbow Mage Overlay plugin. Of course, a link for this will be... The last thing you need to do is then go to Resources, and then you need to download my Resources folder, which will be in the description box in a link. And you want to copy paste the entire folder into this resources folder reason for that is because my copy has an icons folder which contains all of these job icons and stuff and on top of that the mini pass is the settings for the overlay and my settings are completely different from the defaults that you will download so it looks it makes it look kind of nicer gives it a nice dark background on top of that it also enables the icons which the original doesn't have after you've then done that you want to go back right click on advanced combat tracker and you want to run it as administrator every single time you do run this parser you want to make sure you do run it as admin 
otherwise network parsing will not work in the description box down below and as you can see there's a couple of different versions an x64 and an x86 now an x64 is for 64-bit operating systems whereas an x86 is for 32-bit operating systems you can check which operating system version you have by going to start computer properties and over here you should be able to see exactly what you have so for me I have a 64-bit so I'm going to go and download the 64-bit overlay plugin the last thing you need to go and download is Microsoft Net Framework 4.5 go to download this as well doop, doop, doop. download no I don't want Internet Explorer 11 because you're piece of crap. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Click here to download.